Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope you guys have had a great day. Um, it is as of today, because time is always key for reference, August 28th, 2021. Uh, all the values, all the dollar amounts, all, all that kind of stuff is subject to change at any time. So definitely do your research, because if this is a month from now or a year from now, uh, all this information can be all over the place. But if you're watching it, it gives you a good idea where we're at today. So we're talking about the budget end graphics cards, uh, what they're making, what they're profiting at my power rate. And you can kind of, you know, take a look at that and see uh, what kind of avenue you want to go down. And then we'll talk about, you know, pricing, what you should be getting into them at, what you shouldn't, that kind of thing. So jumping over here, we have a really simple spreadsheet. So on the top column, these are the GPUs we're going to be talking about today. This is what they're making before power, and this is what they're making after power, uh, and that's rating at 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're going to start off with the RX 580s and 480s. Uh, I'm specifically talking about the 8 gigabyte models. Um, you can also get 470s and 570s in 8 gigabyte models, and they pretty much fall right in line with these. Once you BIOS mod them, you're going to get anywhere from 28 to 31 mega hash, and you're looking at making about $2.37 of ethereum per day uh before power so you're gonna profit uh, about two dollars and six cents or about two bucks a day profit on each one of these cards that you have so solid solid deal these things are going for on ebay i mean i've, I've seen them five six hundred bucks do i suggest buying them in that range no these cards have been out for a long time uh and uh, almost 90 percent of them have definitely seen quite a bit of uh, time in the mines so there's there's a lot of a lot of wear a lot of miles on these cards um now if you can buy them i try to stay under 400 dollars per card range i actually just bought a bunch of 578 gigabyte cards in that 300 mid 300 dollar range and um i'm i'm happy with them so you can kind of take what the profit is two bucks a day uh if you buy this card for 200 bucks you know, you would pay itself off in 100 days. If you spend 400 bucks on, on one of these, it'd pay itself off in 100 days or, you know, ROI, return on investment, or break-even point. It would beep, uh, BEP, in 100 days. Now, moving on to what's becoming a lot more available currently is the 4 gigabyte RX 470s and 570s. These cards are everywhere. They can no longer mine Ethereum due to the DAG size of Ethereum getting uh over four gigabytes and that is ever increasing by the way um but you can mine other things and right now it looks like the most profitable thing to mine on ethereum is or on the four gigabyte cards is currently raven coin so uh, before power you're going to be making somewhere in the neighborhood of about a dollar 60 a day on raven um and then after power you're looking at about a dollar 24 and this is with bios modded cards when i'm talking about the 580s 480s 470s and 570s it's like everybody bios mods them i don't know anybody that leaves them alone and the only reason to to not bios mod them um i guess if you if if you're scared of bios modding but just go on youtube there's a ton of people that have done it and you can always save your stock bios so you can roll back to stock um and you know you'll be back to normal so other than that these cards i i'd <sighs> Like I said, these are old cards, just like the uh, the 580s and 480s, the 470s and 570s have been out for a long time. You're looking at, you know, potentially four to five year old cards that have had a lot of miles put on them, uh, but there still could be tread on those tires. So um, I'd probably say I'd, I'd want to be in the two to three hundred dollar range on these, um, just because for every hundred days you're looking at about you know what 120 120 bucks. So 200 days you're only going to make what 240 bucks on this if if rates hold right now obviously if rates go down your time gets longer to beep uh but if rates go up then you can beep a lot sooner and everybody loves beeping sooner so i i'd probably uh, both these first two columns if you can get them for a good deal great if not probably pass on them now coming into some newer technology here rx 5600 xts these are in that two to two and a half year category so these haven't been out quite as long and they definitely are more efficient and they get a higher mega hash or a higher speed on ethereum so you're looking at making about three dollars and 15 cents a day on these rx 5600 xts 
and after power, that's about $2.89. The problem with the RX 5600 XTs is everybody knows that they're efficient, and everybody knows that they're a great card. Even though it is technically an entry-level card, these things are still going for $700 on eBay. It blows my mind. Um, actually, while we're here, let's let's take a little side quest, and let's see what is the cheapest RX 5600 XT buy it now on, on lowest shipping on um on ebay 395 almost guaranteed this is a scam right here open box what, what what is up with this bad boy this stopped working that's not open box liquid damage to computer and this stopped working this is for parts this is broken he has it listed as open box. That is incorrect, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, be careful when you're buying stuff out there. Now, going further down, this parts only. That's a broken one. Pre-owned. So it looks like this is potentially the cheapest buy it now on eBay. And we got to make sure everything's good with it. It's a it's a XFX Thick 2. And Thick 2 graphics card. I guess it's I guess it's fine. Um, it's a 21 feedback seller. Eh, I don't know. 600 bucks though. I mean, that the prices are actually coming down on those. Um, and then it, yeah, it just starts getting astronomical. You get close to that mid high sixes and then 700 plus. So getting a set of matching cards, a matching 5,600 XTs right now, uh, very, very hard task. So say if you got the cheapest one available right now, 600 bucks. You're making after power two dollars and eighty nine cents a day. You're looking at almost a two hundred day ROI. So six hundred divided by two point eighty nine looks like it's a two hundred and seven day ROI divided by thirty. You're looking at six point nine right at seven months if rates hold. So mm, not bad. the The big thing here is they don't burn a ton of power for what they do. So that, that efficiency is always good. Um, but now say if you ain't got ain't got that 600 bones and you're going down you need something cheaper GTX 1060 6 gigabyte cards people have been unloading these things for all time like these cards price wise have gone way up and then bottomed out and then now they're back on the incline uh, let's see what they're going for uh, realistically in my mind, as like an existing miner, 1060s, you don't pay over 200 bucks for a 1060. And look at this. The cheapest one buy it now is 250 with $14 shipping. That's $264 for a 1060 that makes $1.50 after power. So 260 bucks. We'll divide that by $1.54. You're looking at 160 day ROI. So it's actually a it's actually a lower ROI. It, this thing beeps faster than the 5600 XT, um, but your biggest drawback is kind of like the RX 470s and 580s and 570s, is your resale value is going to go absolutely in the toilet when mining rates go back down. A 1060 is basically going to be worthless um, when it's not making money on Ethereum. And uh, whereas an RX 5600 XT, it's a lot more new, it's, or it's a lot more modern, it's a lot more new. It, it's definitely come out quite a bit newer. 1060s, they have to be at least five years old now. Um, so just resale value in the gaming market, very, very low. But, I mean, you could pay it off faster. So it's 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 ebb and flow. If you plan on keeping your cards forever, I mean, maybe grab some 1060s. I still have, I think, four of them. Um, but I acquired those all for less than 200 bucks. And just to put this in perspective, I bought a set of 1060s brand new Back in 2017, I bought six of them at the time, and I I remember it crystal clear. I bought them for 2.29 a piece, brand new on Amazon, and I thought I was absolutely insane because I didn't get a like a deal on them. I just paid full price because back then you could there was cards that you could find on sale. Um, I know when it sounds crazy talking about video cards being on sale, that was a thing, ladies and gentlemen. It was, and it hasn't been in a long time. So now GTX 1070s moving up the list, stepping up to a, a, a little bit more big boy card. The most profitable algorithm on these right now is actually not even Ethereum. It's Bitcoin Gold or BTG. You're doing $2.27 a day or almost 2 bucks a day after power. And um, people are proud of these things too. So a GTX 1070 is probably going to cost you about 400 bucks.
buy it now. Let's see. 350 pre-owned. That's a blower model. 350 plus twenty dollars shipping. So yeah, if you're buying them off of eBay, you're how you're you're almost at that four hundred dollar range. I'd say these need to be acquired less than no more than three hundred dollars. So search your local area, try to grab them. Um, same thing with the 1060s and the and the RX, the older RX cards. 1070s is an old card. It still does pack a little bit of power, so you can do some you know decent gaming with it. But resale, whenever mining goes back down, resale on a 1070 is not going to be great. Now moving into some more newer cards that are definitely still budget oriented. The first generation GTX 1660. So this is not a TI and this is not a Super. These cards don't make a ton of money. It's basically kind of like a beefy 1060. Um, they have a little bit more gaming performance. Well, actually quite a bit more gaming performance. But they don't make a ton more uh, mining Ethereum. So you're looking at a $1.79 and then after power a $1.60 on Ethereum. Uh, resale value, a 1660 definitely beats out a 1066 gigabyte any day of the week. It's just a better card. It's a newer card. You know, food for thought there. And um, moving down to one of the last budget-oriented cards for today's list, which we will be going over more cards here in the future. If you like this format, just kind of talking about stuff as it is like today, um, the GTX 1660 Super. These are some of my favorite cards that I've owned. They're super low on power. They don't burn a ton. Um, they definitely make a little bit more than the regular 1660s on Ethereum. You're looking at $2.28 a day before power and $2.06 a day after power. So a $2 a day card. I was buying these things between $200 to $300. At one time, I was buying them off uh, Best Buy. And actually, it was the PNY cards. Let me go over to Best Buy and I'll show you the ones that I was buying. They were $329, I believe it was. Oh, did y'all see that? Did y'all y'all saw that? That on Best Buy is playing with my emotions over here, trying to put an add to cart on a RTX 3060 Ti Founders Edition, right? All right, so these are the cards, and it's kind of it's kind of poopy that Best Buy brought these back and they're in stock, but they raised the price on them to five forty nine. These things were three hundred and twenty nine dollars or three hundred and thirty bucks. And I thought they were overpriced at that price because this is honestly a very underwhelming cooler design. It's there's nothing flashy about it. There, there's it's just a straight up. It's a it's a pretty bare bones GPU, but it does do Ethereum at 31 mega hash per card. So that that's also pretty cool. Now, say if you were to buy one at five hundred and forty nine dollars, you're looking at a lengthy, lengthy ROI time. Because you're looking at about two dollars a day after electric, 275 days, ladies and gentlemen. At that's nine months. The only advantage paying five hundred dollars, which don't do that. Don't pay five hundred dollars. Let me just be clear here. Do not buy these cards. There is a reason they are available and in stock. That's because nobody should be buying these graphics cards under no circumstances. This is this is like Best Buy has become a scalper now. Um but yeah, you're, you're looking at a long ROI time. 1660 Supers on eBay, I think they're going in the $400 range. Let's check, go ahead and check it out. At $400, you're looking closer to a 200-day ROI. Wow. The cheapest buy it now is $469, bucks, $500, bucks, $490. Wow, they're high. They're really high. Everything's just high. Hmm, well... And I guess that's pretty much how the cookie, the cookie crumbles for today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and let's just go over coin market cap before we get off here, just for reference. So if you're watching this in the future and you're looking back, Bitcoin today is forty eight thousand five hundred and sixty five dollars. Ethereum is three hundred and twenty two. Uh, sorry, three thousand two hundred and twenty one, not three hundred. Uh, Ethereum's thirty two hundred bucks. Cardano two dollars seventy eight cents. Going further down, Dogecoin in the seventh position at twenty eight cents. Um, down, down, down. Where else? Litecoin, $178. Definitely falling down the le the leaderboard. Ethereum Classic, 63 bucks, And I guess notable mentions, Monero, $295. So that's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please log them down below. And this was supposed to be like the budget-oriented, um, not buyer's guide, but budget-oriented, uh, profitability list i don't i don't know what i want to call it um 
I'm sure I'll figure out a title. So if you're interested in doing me doing another one, maybe do mid range next. Just comment down below. Let me know what cards you guys think I should include. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Adios, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night.